Hi there guys, welcome to the Dr. Sheep channel, thank you very much for tuning in and what you see here is the Axial SCX10 version 3 in the Gladiator version. A, a well-known car obviously and a, a well-loved car as well, I, I very much like mine. And in this video I'm going to show you a couple of uh, updates, or upgrades, sorry. Yeah, so that's part of the fun of uh, RC, right? And especially in RC cars, we like upgrading or at least uh, personalizing, changing our RC cars. In this case, the ESC, and I'll tell you why, of course, why I'm gonna upgrade or change out the ESC, and a couple of uh, other things on this Axial SCX10 version 3. Here we go. Serious? All right, back in the studio. And uh, as you probably know, the SCX10 version 3 comes with this Spectrum DX3 radio, which is actually a reasonably nice radio. It's nothing special, but it works. Nothing uh, wrong with it, really. But if you're anything like me, and if you've been uh, driving RC cars for a while, you've probably invested in a nicer radio such as this here radio. This is uh, the Flysky NB4 Noble. Again, you probably have uh, some kind of radio with a nice screen and uh, multiple model memories and uh, all kinds of settings. Eventually you upgrade to a, an upscale radio. At least I did. So now I'd like to drive this uh, SCX10 with my uh, Flysky radio. And that's a bit of a problem, see? Here we have the ESC, obviously a brushed ESC, right? The ESC of this uh, SCX10. And it's got an integrated receiver here. You see the, well, hopefully you see the little antenna. So if you want to change your radio, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, you will have to change out the ESC as well. And like I said, I will be changing out the ESC. But um, yeah, if that was the only reason to change out the complete ESC and receiver, I might have considered. However, uh, there are two other reasons why I want to change out this uh, ESC. First of all, the resolution of this ESC uh, when driving in reverse is um, leaves a lot to be desired. You can't, it's almost on off in reverse. I haven't got a lot of uh, footage of that, but here's a little clip in which um, I try to uh, run the car in reverse. And as you can tell, yeah, very jerky. Uh, again, almost an on-off reverse on this car. So that's, that's definitely not nice, and that can lead you to fail an obstacle course, right? If you uh, run uh, scalers, you probably know. And the last reason why I'd like to uh, change out this uh, combined ESC slash receiver is this uh, little servo over here. That's the dig servo, right, for the, re uh, for the rear axle. And um, it's been burned up. If you have this car, you probably know that these servos uh, burn up. Mine almost instantly burned up. I never drove the car uh, out in the field with the dig active. So. I, I do have a replacement uh, a servo, but uh, yeah, if I would keep this receiver in place, I probably will uh, end up burning up the replacement servo within a couple of drives as well. So that's the third reason why I want to change up this entire setup, the ESC and the receiver, especially the receiver, but also the ESC. So, an upgrade video again on the SCX10, and here is that uh, ESC from Hobbywing. It's the 1080 WP, or the WP1080, uh, a well-renowned ESC. Very cheap, well cheap, inexpensive, but it's um, well regarded. It, it's regarded as one of the best values for money uh, in the crawler community. You probably know this ESC. And I actually ordered this uh, ESC from the same place uh, as I ordered the car from Tomiko in Germany. And I'll have a link to this ESC in the description down below. I'm not sponsored by the way, but um, yeah, I've had good luck with that uh, company. And they also sent me a replacement servo because again, uh, my original servo for the dig uh, burned up. 
I got a couple of other things here. Obviously, I'll need a receiver for that uh, radio, and this is the Flysky FGR4S, a tiny receiver, as you can tell. But you don't need a whole lot of range, of course, uh, with a, a crawler, even though it should have adequate range, even for uh, basher cars. But it's nice and small, obviously, and it's waterproof. And <laughs> also um, ordered me this uh, waterproof uh, receiver case, uh, which is a bit stupid of me, as <laughs> the STXN actually comes with this in the box as an optional extra. I hadn't noticed, but so, yeah, so now I have two. <laughs> And I also got me some other lipos for all my crawlers actually, I got a couple of these from CNHL. I'll have a link to these in the description down uh, below as well. I got these from their European uh, warehouse. And uh, yeah, so I've had good luck with CNHL, but if you're new to the brand, they are better known in the drone market. But you've probably seen their lipos in other videos as well. Again, they good, make good lipos. And this is a 4300 mini power 3S 50C lipo. Should be more than adequate, but it's a relatively small pack as you can tell. So that's, that's definitely nice. Yeah, I got me a couple of these uh, as mentioned, and I'll be running all my crawlers with these lipos. And the last upgrade I have for this car is actually this servo. Servo. There. It's a very impressive servo. I'll do an, uh, a separate video on this servo as it, uh, it's not uh, that the car has a bad servo at all. The steering servo in the SCXN is actually adequate, but uh, this is more of a uh, because I can <laughs> upgrade. But we'll be testing this servo in a separate video and this servo is from AGFRC. And if you're not familiar with this brand, hmm. Well, look out for the review of this servo. It's a monster servo. Yeah, runs on 12 volts. Again, separate video. So, the star of the show, the Hobby Wing, a quick run WP1080 ESC crawler. So, uh, specifically meant for crawlers, brushed ESC. And it comes with a controller card to set it up, to change settings, right? And it's an 80 amp 1080. 80 amp ESC, whereas the original ESC in the actual SCXN is a 40 amp ESC, so well, this should uh, do just fine, more than enough. So, what do you get for approximately 50 euros? Again, value for money. You get, of course, the ESC itself, and it doesn't have a fan. And I don't think it needs a fan. And uh, okay, it got an on off switch, which is nice. It comes with an XT60 plug already attached. However, it does not come with bullet connectors uh, on the motor wires. So that means that this is not a plug and play uh, swap. You will need to do some soldering if you want to change of the ESC on, uh, well, with this at least. ESC. It does have over here a free pin connector, a servo connector for, for instance, a fan, if you do want to add a fan, or LEDs. Yeah. And other than that, you've got one input wire, obviously for your throttle, and the on-off switch assembly has a another button for, uh, well, to get the ESC and change settings modes, probably. Okay, and speaking of, you get this programming card and you've seen these before right a lot of escs come with this uh, this controller board okay so it comes with a, a couple of pieces of uh, sticky tape uh, sticky tape for the esc itself and one sticky tape for the on off switch probably and it comes with some shrink tube which you can uh, wrap around the solder job you will have to do right it comes with an excess servo connection. What is this for? Oh, uh, for the controller board. Yeah, for the setup board. Okay. It comes with a couple of uh, zip ties, which is always nice to tidy up the job. And it even comes with a couple of uh, decals, hobbying decals. Very nice, always appreciated. And it comes with a couple of uh, manuals. Yeah, obviously you can uh, find the manuals online as well. Okay, so that's what you get for your money. And yeah, so let me show you what it looks like with this ESC in the actual car. 
Hi, today there is our new, brand new ESC in the car and I had hoped to be able to um, run the on-off switch somewhere where I could reach it without opening up uh, the car, without removing the body pedal, uh, the, the body I mean. Um, I couldn't really find a good spot regrettably. Yeah, uh, you are limited by the uh, wire length of course. So basically that switches at the exact same spot it was <laughs> with the original ESC. Okay, and I've got a receiver, a small little receiver over here. I didn't use the receiver box as this receiver is already waterproof and this, uh, this way things are nice and small and tidy. And I even replaced the dig servo. Yeah, so um, I did me a, a little bit of uh, soldering obviously on the motor wires, but also I've added a GST connector to the power leads. Yeah, and that's basically only for that uh, that servo I'll re be replacing. More on that in the video about that uh, AFG servo. But um, obviously that uh, can't run its power off of the receiver, right? Because it runs on... Well, f uh, you can run that servo from the receiver, but then you wouldn't have the torque and speed it can deliver. So again, I'll be running the servo on 12 volt. 3S, so I've added this GST connector to the power leads. And uh, yeah, the power leads are sufficiently long, as you can tell. I can run the LiPo over here and over here. And uh, yeah, I deliberately chose this LiPo so that it could actually fit in this, uh, this spot over here, right? Uh, you want to front load your uh, crawler. And let me actually show you that everything works, why not? So, switch on the transmitter. In a minute uh, we'll also run the car outdoors of course, but... Beep beep beep, 3S. And the uh, servo runs as you can tell. And we got uh, forward driving and reverse, yay, nothing special. And um, I've got that dig programmed in on a switch over here. Click. Yeah, and as you can tell, it actually works. And now I have a front wheel drive car and the rear is locked up. And another click. And we've got a four wheel drive car again. And also, this is one of the reasons why I uh, switched to this ESC. And I can run this car very slowly in reverse. This is unloaded, of course. I'm cheating a little bit, but in a minute we'll see what it uh, looks like outdoors with the body on and all. But this looks very, very nice. I definitely would not have been able to do that with the stock ESC. And also, forwards, you can run the car very precise, the speed that is. Very nice. Okay, let's go outdoors and see uh, what the car can do with this new ESC. Alrighty, uh, in between showers here in Dutchland, as you can <laughs> probably tell, everything is uh, wet, but uh, let's give the car a little bit of a test run here. And yeah, as, as I saw on the bench, the precision, and this is not only probably because of the ESC, but also because of uh, this uh, radio. It's all a bit better than what you get stock, right? But especially this, driving in reverse, I can now drive it super duper slowly in reverse. And that definitely was impossible with the stock ESC. Yeah, okay, so this looks uh, very, very nice. Hopefully we can uh, keep things dry, well, dry, uh, without extra rain in this little test run. But yeah, very easy to control the speed. So let's actually try that dig, why not? Not really part of this video, but okay. Dick engaged. Yeah, that, that works, right? And as you can now see, it's really a handbrake. 
Cool. <laughs> yeah, okay, that works. And there we have four-wheel drive again. Maybe I'll have to adjust the endpoints a little bit. As you could tell, it didn't instantly get into four-wheel drive again. Uh, probably the gearbox had to do uh, a little bit of uh, rotation uh, to uh, get it back in line, but... Uh, yeah, it's super duper easy to control the speed and also in reverse. Oh, and it looks like I now have, yeah, I temporarily had a two-wheel drive car again. Again, I'll, I have that um, dig servo now on, on endpoints, right? And that's a benefit of this radio. I can now set endpoints easily, but it looks like I've set them too conservatively. I or, or obviously did that to um, save that servo, <laughs> to keep it alive a little bit longer. But yeah, like this, it's a little bit too conservative. But I'm very, very happy to now be able to uh, run this car with my proper radio and be able to control the speed a lot better, a lot better. World of difference. Very nice. So that was my video on the upgrade of this uh, SCXN with the uh, Hobby Wing, Hobby Wing, ESC, the quick run, 1080, waterproof ESC. Hopefully uh, this was uh, informative. Again, I'll be doing uh, another upgrade to this car, the steering servo, even though the steering servo it really is pretty okay. But uh, yeah, that'll be coming up. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.